In its cause to free the motherland, Swapo's the liberation movement launched a three-pronged struggle, being the political, diplomatic and military fronts. The three fronts were seemingly so interdependent that one would have not succeeded without the other, and Dr. Gurirap knows the diplomatic front all too well. Because in the mid-1960s to the early 70s, he was an associate representative of the Swapo mission to the United Nations before becoming the head of mission for 14 years. It was during that time that Swapo was accorded permanent observer status at the United Nations. 21 years into independence, Dr. Gurirap says young people should optimally utilize the available opportunities, which came about as a result of the country's freedom. As we were in charge of our own liberation, uh, the young people now, must be in charge of economic emancipation. That is their challenge. We are here as we are around to inspire them to think that way. The future belongs to them. But they must invest in it and work hard for it. He states that the demand for justice for all should be every citizen's quest, noting that for the past 21 years, no one has been imprisoned for criticizing the government or any of its agencies, a sign of entrenched democracy. Dr. Grira points out that several challenges still remain, primary being the unemployment situation which has persisted for years and requires concerted efforts to overcome. We cannot match uh, the outcome of education with the availability of job opportunities. And, and that, that is a greater challenge than being worried about that we are not delivering democracy to the people, empowering the people. But the actual empowering obviously will come when I'm able, when I leave school, when I leave college, to find employment. Asked whether 21 Namibia would be seen by other nations as old enough to deal with their own challenges and result in reduced development aid, Dr. Grillab had the following to say. We do not go to the table empty-handed uh, of holding out a begging bowl. Uh, we have resources uh, that are so vital. Uh, for world industry. To measure how far Namibia has progressed, Dr. Grilab equates that with the life of a 21-year-old who would have already gone through the various facets of life. Assistant diplomat and negotiator, he notes that the country's participation at various international fora has not gone unnoticed and Namibia is constantly referred to as one of the shining examples around.